What's up guys? Welcome back to another Team Swim Circus live video. We're at the circus here and this is an exciting one. This is a Stry Striker mirror match. Um, I'm excited for this to be honest. I've been wanting to see one of these. This is one of the most skillful mirrors I remember back in Edison format. Um, or Eternals format I should say, not Edison format. That'd be crazy. Uh, before we dive in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know the camera is a little bit off for this one. I do want to apologize. I got warned like right as the round there i started you know they were going to dive in and i was like oh crap i gotta do this so i set up the camera and uh, we're going to be seeing the player on the left going to start off with a normal summon of the rose you guys all know who this is this is angus he's playing with his max rarity sky striker stuff all blinged out all signed by the boys and now he can be searching for the engage in style at two let me send one card shizuku pass not the strongest opening board we're going to be seeing a pankertops or something out here and then they're going to go activating the effect Getting rid of the, uh, whatever was the back row. Hitting a dark hole. So this is a going second build here. We're seeing Ray being going to attack. And then going to tag out into the Hayate. Dumping the Rose here. And then they're going to be search they're going to activating the uh, the linkage here. And this is a linkage OTK, I think. It's going to be gaining 1,000. It's going to be attacking in 15. I think this, this is OTK here. And it's going to be able to attack. Gains a thousand. Yeah, it should be game. Yeah, it's just, that's this game right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so linkage is pretty nuts. Itself is like, it's, a, it's literally an OTK machine. I think it gets to like, I think it's like to 85, I think. I'm not too sure. But that was one quick round one there. Um, you know, you're going to attack, and then you just tag out, and then you summon, and then you attack again. It gains a thousand. Yeah, it's, that's. That's pretty nuts. But we went to game two here. Um, so, like, what do you even side in versus, like, this? So this is what I mean. Like, this kind of stuff is kind of crazy. It's also important to know that you can't steal or uh, reborn a monster that was uh, was stolen. I know negating a negated monster also comes up a lot because it can't steal to take. Uh, it's just pretty crazy the matchup to be honest if it goes off i haven't really seen what like linkage makes the deck uh, pretty broken this is the first time we're actually seeing it in action now that you know multi-roll is at three engage that two i think the only card they're missing on the list is uh is engage as well as the token one and that card never coming back but we do have bestials in the format now you know there's DD Crows, there's Bistials, uh, there's <laughs> Deltas, I guess, if you want to play the Cyframe Delta. Um, it's like, I don't know, I think the format's very, very different when Sky Striker was, you know, the control deck. Um, and playable are playing anti spells. Like, this is the format of anti spell with a runic in the, uh, in the, in the uh, format as well as branded. You know, we might see some anti spells, and I don't think that, uh, I don't think that people are going to be wanting to play Sky Striker through Anti Spell. Could be wrong though. But we do have power spells like Thrust now, as well as Fusion Destiny. You know, Fusion Destiny Search Thrust would be pretty nice. But moving on into the game two, this siding took longer than game one. That's kind of crazy there. But moving on into game two here, we're going to be seeing Sky Striker go first, obviously. And it's going to be the player on the right i think here be going first they're going to be normal summoning out the rose linking away into the shizuku here and going to be setting one card and shizuku pass searching for the engage there we're gonna be seeing a lot of that that's pretty crazy almost an exact mirror of the previous board we're going to see a Cosmic on the Club of the Grave. Okay, okay. Then we're going to Lightning Storm the monster away. Wow, Rhoda. Now, these three spells are hitting the Grave. We have the Ray here. Going to go Battle Phase, Attack with Ray. Ray effects going to activate. Going off into Hayate. Hayate will be able to dump here. Dumping the Rose. Activating the Linkage. Going to be tagging out, you know, getting that, that beast there. Then we go chain magnemut here so this is going to be protecting the holy crap do they hit the ray or the rose here i think you got to hit the rose or hit the ray 
And so it protects their life points here. They're going to activate the Magnum. You know, getting rid of that ray is huge. And they're not going to be able to attack directly here. Wow. That's actually cracked. The you know, Magnemite comes in clutch here. We're going to see a forbidden, uh, not forbidden droplets. What am I saying? We're going to be seeing an upstart goblin being paid here. We're going to be afterburners destroying that Magnemite. And then uh, there's no spells to destroy as well. Are you linking off? There's going to be destroyed during the end phase. Or they, yeah, they definitely link off into, uh, into Shizuku here. And then we're going to set one and end phase Shizuku. We'll be able to search for probably engage, to be honest. That is engage, right? No, oh, that's Widow Anchor. Okay. They're going to chain Widow Anchor, hitting that rose. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to be searching for the Jewish Worm during end phase here. So we're going to draw for turn here. And I think that was a second engage. But they have no spells in Grave currently. So we're going to see engage going to activate here. I'm being able to search for any really uh striker card they need. Going for the afterburners, okay. The first spell and grave, you know, gonna be banishing, gonna be activating the linkage and chain here. Um, you know, preventing that, and they're gonna chain their own linkage of their own going into the uh Hayate here. Is this where you go for, like, you don't go for Kaina, because Kaina will protect you, but, like, what do you go for here? You're going to go for your own Kagari. Okay, okay. We see Kagari and Alt Art Kagari on the field. This is a Sky Striker battle. And then you're already seeing the add back of the Engage. We're going to activate the Talents here. Um, talents to draw to. We do see a Lightning Storm. So maybe I thought they were going to go second. We're going to see a, the link, uh, the engage here. We're going to be searching for a Widow Anchor. And getting that second draw. And this is what I mean. This These are crazy cards. This is a control deck. I don't even know what linkage secondary effect is if it controls three spells in your Does it have one? I don't think we can actually like find a way to OTK this though. Like if they start loading up the spells and grave, everything's gonna start losing and gaining attack. Wow. We're gonna be activating this Coliseum here, searching for Regulus, a crazy card. Do we have a machine? We do have a machine and graveyard. Okay, so we're gonna be pretty much fine on that part. We know being able to Omni negate is pretty nice. We're going to be normal summoning out the Ray here, linking both of them away for a Zeke. Zeke effect is going to be banishing the Kagari here. And uh, we're going to be setting one card, activating the Zeke, uh, getting rid of it. And then we're going to summon it back out. And then we're going to be going to the battle phase here, attack. And then we're some, we obviously summon out the Regulus first and then attack. Setting one card and passing. So we're going to have an Omni Negate as well as a... Uh, it's weird we didn't just go into Shizuku here. We're going to see a shark cannon here targeting the probably the ray in the graveyard. He's thinking on the target. Then he's going to target the ray. We're going to be negating that with the regulus here. And do we have an engage for the follow up here? We have two cards in hand. We're going to activate a desires here. That's pretty risky. Um, I don't know if Desires is like in most builds now, but yes, we're going to be drawing two off this. Like, I feel like you can just burn through all your stuff here. It's pretty crazy. We're going to see a terraforming that can search for area zero. And yeah, it looks like we're in a kind of a tough spot here. Lots of spells in both players' graveyards. We do still have a face down. We're going to be tactics to take. Take the Zeke, that makes sense to me. Then we could link it away to any of Skystriker monster of our choice. 
you know, getting our Sky Striker stuff online here. But like, I guess you just go for like Kagari or yeah, Kagari. Then Kagari is gonna add back the engage in the graveyard, or is there not engage in graveyard? Oh, they only have linkage in grave. Oh right, and then they're gonna activate target the linkage. They're gonna be chaining the Widow Anchor here, and then trading the uh, Jour Swarm as well. And they're going to chain their own Widow Anchor here. This is what I mean. We're going to get to see that row is going to be banished. Yeah, like this is something else. Like The Bistules just make the uh, the deck so much different. It makes the deck completely change. We're going to be seeing that link away probably for Hayate. Yep. Or that's not Hayate. Yeah, it's Hayate. I don't know. I'm forgetting their names. I know Shizuku is the blue one, and uh, Ray is the normal one. <laughs> Maybe I called... No, I think I called Kagari correct. We're going to go Battle Phase Attack directly with the Hayate. And that's going to be able to dump. You definitely dump... Uh, okay. And we're going to be seeing them link away into Shizuku here. And then Shizuku effect during the end phase, adding the engage most likely. And just going to pass on to this. And yeah, we're going to be seeing the end phase. Um, Kagari going to come back off of the uh, off of the rose. And we do have Druid Charm on the field here. So maybe if we normal summon. Is there a world where you play Chaos Angel? We're going to go uh, Battle Phase Crash the Drawer Storm into the Shizuku because there's so many spells in Grave. Then Drawer Storm is going to be able to send here. Is it not going to send? I feel like you just have to send the Shizuku there. Setting the Kagari, okay. Getting rid of that main monster zone is super weird. We're going to be seeing them take it and attack with it. They're going to link away into a... Um, <laughs> we see like, oh my gosh, you know. That's like their third uh, engage this game. They're going to be able to search for the multi-roll here and getting a plus one as well. Is that a trap card? Then we're going to go for the uh, the blue one, Shizuku, here. And then we search for the Shark Cannon. We're going to activate Shark Cannon here. And what are we going to get rid of? Getting rid of a Kagari there makes sense. Or, yeah, Kagari. Then we're going to be setting it and passing. Two sets. Okay, okay. Do we have what it takes here? We're going to be seeing an engage finally here from the player on the left side. <laughs> this cross out designator call engage and cry. We're gonna be some search for the Hornet drones. You know, it's gonna be able to get the uh the links onto the field here. I think I saw a thrust in the hand as well. We're gonna be seeing the field spell being activated here, setting a card. Um what's cool is you can flip up the card as well, but if it's a quick play, you cannot, unfortunately. We're going to see the effect activate. We're going to be seeing them hit. You know, they burn through a lot of stuff. Adding that Widow Anchor there. And then it's going to get destroyed here, which was a linkage. Okay. They're going to activate the Hornet Drone. Something with that token from the... Uh, from there. Something with the actual token. Then we're going to be seeing them link away for... looks like a Hayate there. But they're running out of stuff here. They're going for the Kaina here. are going to be negating the Shizuku attack for the following turn. They're going to be seeing them take it with the Widow Anchor there. Kind of weird. They're going to enter battle phase attack with the Kaina. 
And do they just take this? They're going to Widow Anchor take the Kaina instead. So they get banished. And then we're going to be seeing them link away for a Hayate of their own. And then it's going to be dumping here. What is it dump? We see an Axis Code, a Unicorn. Maybe linking away into Shizuku. This is the final Shizuku, I believe. And it's going to get hit with an Imperm there, and it's going to, the Kaina is going to return to them during the end phase. And they're going to be able to set the Afterburners here. Afterburners will be able to get rid of either of these monsters here. They're going to be activating the effect of Area Zero, you know, popping to protect all their spell activations, and then they'll be able to add the Regulus back. And this is going to be game. We see two, ra two Rays banished. The Hamp, I'm assuming that we're playing the Hamp there. Um, banished off that. That is rough. So we see the Sky Striker taking the win here on the right, two owning the opponents here. The Regulus build is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's going to be 100% meta, but we saw a very, very interactive game too there. You know, linkage OTK, but preventing with that Magnum up is pretty crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see any more Sky Striker content or anything like that, let me know in the comment section down below. Whatever you're actually going to see, and we'll try to feature it on the channel here. Remember to stay safe. Peace.